What's up, YouTube? If you watch to the end of this video, I will teach you a technique to where you will always be profitable on these DFS platforms like Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks and all of the other ones. And if you don't have the attention span and you can't sit and learn for five minutes, well, then you're fucked. You're fucked not just in DFS, but in life because learning is a skill. And if you can't sit down and strengthen your brain, you're in trouble. So, real quick, let's log in on Underdog Fantasy. Okay, I've got my username in there. I've got my password. This is my email if you guys ever want to reach me with any questions. Okay, I click sign in. We have set up an account restriction. Please contact support. So, they don't even want me to be playing on their platform because they know I'll kick their ass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in using another account that they don't know about. And of course I am banned. I'm not placing bets on underdog, but you can place bets on underdog and you can profit. And if you want to repay me, hit the subscribe button, watch my videos, join my free group chat. All of those things help support me. So I have to find other ways to make a living in this space than actually playing the games because I'm so good at playing the games. These places are going to ban me or limit me. That brings me to my next point, prize picks. This is the technique right here. Stacking quarterbacks and receivers. It's very simple. Same game overs. And the idea is if Jaden Daniels goes over the quarterback for LSU and if Jordan Travis goes over at FSU and the game's a shootout back and forth, lots of passing, well, then these three receivers should go over as well. Now, if you look at prize picks, the payouts are a little bit lower because they force you to do what's called a flex play. So if you do five men entries, the most you can win is 10x, which is still really good. But what I would prefer to do is just make it a four man on prize picks. So four man on prize picks, I'm going to go with the receiver that was there last year, Johnny Wilson. This is the way I would attack this game on prize picks. But I really want that five man and I want a big payout on that five man. Um, and before I leave prize picks, I want to say shout out to prize picks. They do let me get money down. I've been putting down $200 to win. Uh, 2,000 on all my entries this year. They're cool about it. So far, so good. And they do place limits on me here and there, but it's fair play to them. If I owned prize picks, I wouldn't want somebody like me playing on their platform either because they're losing money by taking my action. And I respect it, but I think like a fair middle ground is saying, hey, you can play here, but don't throw down over $200. And that's right where I'm at. I can make content about the platform. So you can make a living on prize picks. They're not going to let you make millions of dollars, but you can definitely make five to 10 grand a month off prize picks, live the modern day American dream. And I respect the hell out of prize picks for allowing that. So huge shout out to prize picks. Use promo code SBE if you need a prize picks account and it helps support me because y'all know I can't put my money down on all of these platforms. So Real quick, I have a group chat. Another way to support me and to help yourself is to join the group chat. I posted this live yesterday and I was very close to making five grand and I'm still sick about it. But the good news is we hit this one. This was on the chalkboard app. Four for four, $20 to 192, $50 to 158, Sam Pickney, and then Jay Bradley, forgot his first name on Texas Tech. He came through at the very end of that game for us. And then here it is, the Texas Tech Coastal Carolina stack, 200 to win 2,000. Boom, hit it right there. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a similar strategy to what you're seeing on the screen here, but with five mans. So if we go to a sports book, the big theme here is sports books are dialed in. Sports books have been making profits off of users like you and me, off of degenerate gamblers, off of smart people trying to make a profit. They, they have been bulletproof. You cannot beat a sports book. They're so dialed in. They've been doing this for decades. And a sports book is telling us if you do this exact five man stack, you're doing 200 to win 1898. Now, if we compare that to what I just showed you on prize picks, now I wish I could compare it side by side, but you guys are smart enough to see 200 to win 2000. Well, let me click this 200 to win 2000. Now here's what's crazy on prize picks. If we go three for five, we're getting part of what we risked back. So the, really the only way we're getting crushed is if we go one for five, zero oh for five, two for five, we're bringing money back in as long as three of the five hit. And if 
four of the five hit, we're, we're actually doubling our money. And if we go five for five on prize picks, we're literally getting the same amount as if we go five for five on uh, FanDuel. So if you're doing these over the course of the season, you're going to lose money on FanDuel and you're going to profit on prize picks. The difference in that is freaking massive. And you need to have a spreadsheet where you chart your wins and losses and you can really see it if you chart it out in a spreadsheet. But that's massive, guys. Now, what I want to show you, and I'm going to log into Underdog real quick. I'm going to pause the video so that no one can see my login. Okay, we're in Underdog. This is not a real account. It's just an account I use to show you guys the board. Same exact play here. 200 wins 4,000. So I'm going to go back. This is just simply quarterback, receiver, quarterback, and then double receiver stack with FSU. On FanDuel, the exact same combination of players is 200 to win 1,898. Now you get your 200 back, so it's really two, it's really just under 2,100. So you're bringing in 2,100 for this play on FanDuel. You're bringing in four grand on Underdog Fantasy. The guys at Underdog Fantasy don't know jack shit about sports betting. They don't understand this life. They are a fantasy football best ball drafting platform that saw how much money prize picks is making, and they decided they wanted to get in on some of that money. Well, guess what? There are flaws in their game. There's deficiencies in their game. And if you know what you're doing, you can make a shitload of money until they'll ban you. And then maybe send your friend a thousand bucks and have him make a shitload of money and split it with you. But this is fucking bulletproof. If you do this over and over you're unstoppable. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to load up another example in the NFL. Here's another example. I want to really drive this home so that by the end of this video, you guys know exactly what you need to do and how you need to execute on the Underdog Fantasy app. And all it is is same game stacks, five man stacks. Now, there's a little bit of strategy to it here, right? Like there are quarterbacks that have a balanced attack between two receivers. The Chiefs, I think about the Chiefs, Mahomes and Kelsey are money. Who's the Chiefs' next best threat? It's really such a balanced attack. It's hard to do three Chiefs players. So I wouldn't pull the trigger on this. This is just an example here. But look at these five players. It's 200 to win, 2,285. So this is a bit more of a payout than the last one we saw. So it's not as strong as the, the one before. Uh, but the same exact play, 200 pays four grand. Four grand is a lot more than 2200 right? So you're still getting way too much money. They're paying you over $1,500 too much for this play on Underdog Fantasy. And if you can simply just use FanDuel as a guideline and understand that these sports books, they know how to set lines, they know how to set payouts, they know how to calculate same game parlay payouts, and you compare that to Underdog Fantasy, I mean, guys, you can make a lot of money. There's a reason that Underdog won't allow me on their platform anymore. But I'm going to make content. I'm going to get views. YouTube will pay me for my views. I've got a private group chat. Um, you know, if you guys want to join that group chat, I post techniques like this and I type it out so that you can just look at it, read it. And, um, you know, I prefer to listen to video. So if you prefer to listen to video, hit the subscribe button and keep looking out for videos like this. Um, but my group chat, you can read it out. Probably I could teach you what I taught you in this video in two minutes of reading. And it's just a beautiful thing. So, um, you know, I don't have a promo code for you or anything. Underdog, they hate me, but fuck them. I hope you guys use the strategy to take a bunch of money from them because uh, those guys are just, you know, they're just bad, bad business people, honestly, and just bad humans. And I can't say thank you to Prize Picks enough for allowing me to play on their platform. They know I'm smart. They know I'm probably going to profit over, over the course of the year. Uh, but at the end of the day, just different CEOs, different cultures at the company. And ultimately, Prize Picks is saying, hey, look, we don't want to turn anybody down. Even if you know how to beat us, we want, you to, we want there to be an opportunity to beat us. And, and to be honest, if I'm an average Joe, if I'm a rookie, because I, I, I was a rookie when I started, guys. I didn't always know what I was doing with this stuff. I would look at a video like this and I'll say, you know what? I want to play on prize picks because at least I have a chance. At least I know if I go on a run and I do well, they're not going to ban me. And underdogs straight up saying, if y'all make profit off of us, we're going to ban you. So what I'm suggesting you do is set up a prize picks account for the long term. Promo code is SBE for sports betting education. 
and they'll double your first deposit. Do the same thing for Underdog Fantasy. Find somebody's code on Google and they'll double your first deposit. Take as much money from Underdog as you can until they ban you. Pull that profit out, put it into prize picks. We can still profit on prize picks even though the 10X right here isn't as lucrative. Getting paid for four out of five and three out of five is ultimately where a lot of the profit and the edge comes from. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Join the group chat. It's on the Chalkboard app. You also can just download the Chalkboard app and then join uh, the Sports Betting Education group chat. We've got 1,500 members in there and I'm trying to get it to 100,000. I know the fact that I'm like actually profitable and I'm not just faking this shit and I really place bets on everything that I'm telling y'all. I'll go to my entries here. There's a play for tonight on prize picks. I did a little four man. But look, this is real shit. Like I can refresh the screen. I can scroll. This is not some edited bullshit like everybody else online is giving y'all. This is unbelievable right here. I, I had made four grand yesterday. Not profit, but total winnings. And I could have easily made another two grand here if Wells doesn't get injured. Um, Luke McCaffrey, if Luke McCaffrey gets 18 more yards in a game where they got blowed out, he should have gotten to this number of 40. That's another two grand. Frank Harris, if UTSA's defense gets one stop and they get the ball back, this is five grand right here. This would have won five. I doubled my money going five out of six, but that would have won five grand with the 25X. And then this is an L, right? This is an L. The loss has happened. And I show you all my wins and losses. Nobody else is going to sit here and scroll through this for y'all. Here's another $2,000 win right here. I wanted to show you all that other Luke McCaffrey one. Luke McCaffrey sold the bag for me. Four grand between Luke McCaffrey. It's crazy, man. I, I had another 11 grand on the table for, my, for the taking. But watch to the end of this season, man. I'm going to have a day where I make over 10 grand. I'm going to have a day where I make over 20 grand doing this stuff. So we're sitting at about 5,000 bucks right now. Come back in a couple months, see how we're doing, see how we're living. Uh, so 104K one, five grand in the bank. Hold me accountable, guys. Hold me accountable. I'm transparent. I'm not like these other guys out there just faking all this stuff. So that's all I've got for y'all. Put myself on the big screen. Look you guys in the eye. I love you guys, man. I freaking appreciate y'all. I hope you found value from this video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask me in my group chat on Chalkboard or in the comments. I'll be replying to as many comments as I can. Hopefully this video goes viral. If it doesn't go viral, I'll reply to all comments, but I love you guys. Thanks for your support. I'm getting banned left and right by these apps for winning, and I couldn't do this without the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is really my safe bet long-term for how I'm gonna make a living in this space. And uh, yeah, I, can't, I literally couldn't do it without you guys supporting the page. So hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in a future video. And I'll see you in the freaking chalkboard group chat. Get the chalkboard app. And I'll see you guys in the group chat. Peace.